I suppose I was kind of a bit wet behind the ears when I first started out because I, I'm not a hairdresser, I'm an accountant, and I came from hospitality, so I worked as a financial controller in hospitality for 20 years. And then I came into our family business through complete fluke, through a fortune teller, which is a whole other story I'll tell you again. I, I work for a family business for 20 years as their financial controller. And one of my friends had her 40th birthday party. And we had this, uh, you know, somebody who does tarot cards. And we all had our fortune told. And at the end of our, my reading, she said to me, can I ask you a personal question? I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And she says to me, why do you run somebody else's family business when you have your own? And I thought, nobody's ever asked me that question. So Dylan was over here in the salon, and I was doing his books kind of at home in the evening time or whatever. And he was over here running his business, and I never got involved in it, except, you know, the business side of it, maybe just running the accounts, running the bank account and stuff. And then she said to me, why do you run somebody else's family business when you have your own family business? And it was the first time somebody ever asked me that, and I thought, actually, I don't know. So I actually went in after 20 years on a humongous salary and um, I went in and I gave my notice and I went to work for my husband for a subsidiary, subsidiary, a decrease in salary. And, um, and I moved into the family business and then we moved from 1,100 square feet to 10,000 square feet and we took the brand from, you know, where it was then to where it is now. So that was probably the most defining moment of my career was a tarot card reader asking me why I don't run my own family business. <laughs>